The first patient is a 72-year-old man diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 1994. His medications included Tasmar, Cinemet, and Mirapex. Clearly, this gentleman is significantly compromised by his Parkinson's disease. Ambulation is particularly difficult for him, especially in attempting to turn 180 degrees. At times, his feet appear to be essentially glued to the floor, despite his best efforts to get them to move. His balance is significantly compromised as well, and oftentimes the top part of his body tends to move more quickly than the bottom part. This obviously has important implications, making him at increased risk for falling and hurting himself. The patient was given 600 milligrams of glutathione intravenously. 30 minutes later, he is noted to be walking with much more fluidity and much better balance. He turns 180 degrees with much less difficulty and does seem to rely upon his assistant much less so. Steps are in fact much longer than prior to the glutathione and overall the patient is feeling dramatically improved. The next patient was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease eight years before receiving glutathione. At the time of his initial evaluation, he was taking Cinemet. The patient appears to be ambulating fairly well, but one cardinal feature of Parkinson's disease is quite readily apparent, and that is the lack of associated arm movements of ambulation, his arms essentially appearing to be glued to his sides. The patient does turn 180 degrees without significant difficulty, but it's interesting to note that there's a remarkable loss of facial expression. Fifteen minutes after receiving glutathione, 600 milligrams intravenously, the patient is observed to ambulate with much better arm movement. His rate of ambulation seems to have increased as well, and the patient does appear to be somewhat more animated. The next patient is a 55-year-old woman diagnosed with Parkinson's disease nine years uh, prior to the administration of glutathione. At the time of her evaluation, she was taking Cinemet and Simitrel. Several cardinal features of Parkinson's disease are observed in this patient with significant difficulty in turning 180 degrees, obvious balance difficulties, and steps which are quite foreshortened. The patient has a severe degree of difficulty in starting ambulation and appears to be quite frustrated with her present condition. Again, it is noted that because of this patient's difficulties with balance, falling is a great concern. The patient was given glutathione intravenously, 600 milligrams. Fifty minutes later, there's a dramatic improvement in her ability to ambulate. Arm swing is improved, initiation of movement is improved, and the patient clearly turns 180 degrees with virtually no difficulty whatsoever. It would be difficult to make any diagnosis of an abnormality in the patient at this point. Clearly, this patient is quite pleased with her progress with a marked improvement of her facial expressions. Intravenous glutathione administration is associated with a marked reduction of rigidity as well as a significant increase in mobility in Parkinson's patients. Many patients also demonstrate an increased ability to speak and also find that they are much less depressed. Finally, most patients demonstrate a marked reduction of tremor.